All right, we are going to get into some planner press stuff. I actually had two orders that were made at different times, but got finished and came at the same time. I am super duper excited about those guys. And then I did pick up the collab between Planning with Alo and Paper Test Designs. I absolutely love the theme of this and how this looks. I like the coffee stains. I really do like her habit tracker with the circles. I've kind of moved away from habit tracking, but I don't know. It's a thing I, I go back and forth on and I do like the daily plan set out like this so that you can set it in how you like. I like that I can start it at 6.30 and it gives me half hour increments. I can alter the PDF if I want to take out the half hour increments and just make hour increments my day starts at about 5 a.m so I do kind of lose that and then I really love the weekly overview I also enjoyed so little rage plans has a similar setup in terms of the week with this overview I like I like the layout here I like the way this looks and works and I think it is going to work for me in my A6, which is where I intend to use it. It is a year, so it's from July to July, is the way it is currently set up. So just there is that. And then the months. I like how the, you've got the month on the front page, and then you have the month set out, a month on one page, and then kind of a, a list version. I, I really like this. This you could use for a lot of different things. If you're going to use this for your actual monthly planning, this is beautiful because it gives you room for more detail. And then you get a, a back sheet as well for summary. If you're doing any kind of spending tracking or if you have schedules that you need to check from day to day, this is just an easy way to quickly see that. I've got July. I'm just removing July right now because we are we are not in July. It it really spoke to me, and the more I saw it on Instagram, primarily is where I saw it. the The more I liked it. Now we are going to move into my planner test. No planner test. My planner press order. I love planner press. I've talked about them before on my channel. I really do like their stuff. I just want to make sure that there's a packing sheet that I'm not getting it in here and there is not in this one. And then I'm just going to do this together. So I'm just going to quickly open up and get it out of the way. Second, that should be my smaller guys. All right. Again, the focus in this video is going to be on my A6, but I'll just show you guys everything here quickly. So this is, I like her little freebie. This is something that you could just punch and use. I use other little cards so I can put things like flags and stuff like that on them when I punch them. So I really like the size of this. I got a very pretty sticker just for the fall. I love, I love all things fall and Halloween. And I thought this was so beautiful. I don't know yet if this is going to go on a water bottle or if it's going to go somewhere else, or maybe I will just leave it on here like this and just stick it in my planner somewhere. I got a page lifter in pocket plus size. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna save this bag and I will put all of the pocket plus stuff in the same bag or all the things I should say that are meant for my pocket, which I'm not in right now. I'm in the, I decided to just move into the A6 and just let it go. So I did not get this in each size. These are pocket size because they didn't have pocket plus, but that's okay. I really like that. Celebrate every win, even if it's getting out of bed in the morning. I really like that. I think that will be super cute. And then this I have, as I try to yank this out, I have this for my A6. I absolutely loved it. So I decided to get it for other sizes as well. And then I did also get bottom tabs for 
Pocket Plus. I'm trying to use Pocket Plus, and this is in her crystal clear. Two, three, four, and you get five, which is nice. Other Some other brands, you only get four, so I like that extra one because I do have more sections. And I know Crystal Clear is likely to get scratched up and all that other good stuff, but I like to see my deco behind it. So I didn't really want something that was was going to be a problem. But that is Pocket Plus. So we'll set that out of the way. Like I said, we'll just keep that together. All right, and then these I will probably scrunchy scrunchy in together too. This is mini HP when nothing goes right, go left. I did get that from my pocket as well and I liked it. This guy is going to go into my goals section on my A6. And this is her premium vellum, which is a little bit thicker than the regular vellum and has also a little bit more of a glossy texture. And then I also picked that up for my half letter. I would likely need to repunch both of these to fit properly because I use my discs are either Levenger or more in line with Levenger. These are more in line with Happy Planner discs, just so you know. All right. And then I did get a clear, a crystal clear fly leaf as well. This is for my A6, just because I wanted to have a protector that is not not the current protector that I have. And then I also picked this up for my half letter when I'm in my half letter and I'm just going to put these guys together. This is just the basic vellum. You can see, you can see it's a little bit thinner and it has more of the traditional vellum texture instead of being as smooth. So I'm just gonna put that in there. They did not have this guy in a mini HP, so I bought it in B6, and I can trim it down and repunch it. Because <laughs> I'm not I'm not that way. I will literally size-wise, it is very similar. And I, I will pick where to put it and trim it down. I could probably just put it over here and then just punch it. I figured since they were similar size, it would just work out that way. It'll be a little bit different than it is in my other planners, but who knows if I will even notice. And it's weird because you see it's upside down. You see that? I wonder, I don't know if the other one's like this. Yeah, it's upside down. So I actually, that is perfect because I will just take this off and keep this section. <laughs> that is a hat, that, that, is that not the happiest accident okay so that that works even even more for me man that's exciting okay so then I got the crystal clear dividers Ooh, these are thicker so her I have them in black and they seem a little thinner they're they're still thinner than cloth and paper that's that's perfect. All right, so that is for my A6, which we'll get to in a second. And then I did also pick up the Crystal Clear for my HP Mini. I do have Crystal Clear tabs for my half letter, but they are from cloth and paper. Again, you get more tabs from Planner Plus, and they are thinner. So just something to think about. Depending on use, I did like in the half letter because it is bigger and the sections are a little bit larger. I did like the cloth and paper because they are a little thicker. All right, so let me grab A6 real quick. So this is my A6. I currently have the cloth and paper today on there. I, I really love this for a long time and I like, like you can see, I put deco on it, but I do want to go with something more clear. And I did not want to just pick up the clear inbox from cloth and paper in my size because I was already able to pick this guy up from Planner Press. And that was perfect. I don't care if it gets scratched up. I actually anticipate that this is going to get quite scratched up. All right, so bottom tabs. I use bottom tabs, not top tabs. So I just want to make sure 
that order these right. So one, two, three, four, and five. Wait, no, four, five. Okay. All right, so you see it just, it gives a very clear way to look at your deco. I really struggled with whether or not I wanted to put a tab in here, but this has actually been quite working for me with this Ollie clip from Cloth and Paper. Let me line this up. Some of my papers are cut wrong, so if you see them off, not cut wrong, I punched them wrong. But we'll just open that and that takes me right to my filming list. All right, let's, so my first guy here is Goals. Goals, Goals definitely gets its own. So I'm just gonna throw my Goals. in there why why do you why are you acting weird are you just punched funny i'm used to having to repunch stuff from cloth and paper so if the punch seems like it's a little bit off i'm not overly concerned about it all right so this is all still goals here And then I've got some writing stuff. A lot of times things that are meant to be private, I will keep with the black dividers just because, you know, don't always want certain things being seen. But that is in there for my writing section. I'm just gonna put this upside down for right now. And then month. And then my notes section. I'm actually going to pull out this tab when I get to it. So this is where I keep my notes. And then my work tab will stay like this. Do I have anything going on? Yes. So my personal tab, I am not going to pull out just yet. All right, so I, I just swapped out that personal thing. What I think I would do in the future is I would probably just put nice thick deco over that, just in case I accidentally flip to it. You seem hand punched. That center one drops unevenly. I wonder if she is hand punching these. I do not know. All right, so I'm gonna go to my goals and then I just put a little slit in so I can put that on. So I really like that 2021, a lot can happen in a year behind it. And then when nothing goes right, go left. And these do get the static clings. So you might get a little bit of lifting, which is also something I enjoy. So I have bottom tabs and the tabs are not labeled. I don't know if I will label them. I generally don't label those. So we shall see. Financial section, I'm a little bit, I usually don't put my money stuff first. Usually like it's a wish list first. Give me one quick second here. All right, yeah, I was a little bit uncomfortable with that. So I did, I did change that up. So my money is not actually first. And that is fine. And I took out this little divider, which is great because I'm kind of over this deco. This Most of this is from the Villa Beautiful uh, Free Spirit Collection Month. I can't remember, was that July? No, May, I don't remember. And then I have some things from Every Minute of Story. I'm gonna pull that out. I'm not soups into it right now. And then I am going to replace 
That was just this nice clear guy. I really do like this from Cloth and Paper. It's nice and big. It makes things really easy to find. I also like this calendar here that I got from Brooklyn Grace Co. But the problem with that is it kind of gets lost with some of the other tabs. So that's why I like the cloth and paper. Again, nice and big. I like the look of this because they're clear. They don't, they don't really get in the way of each other. I can put whatever label I want on it. What I am going to do is we will finish this up in just a second. I am going to quickly cut, quickly cut my collab between Paper Test Designs and, is that Planning with Alo? I think it's Planning with Alo. Oh, what is it? She's She's got an Etsy shop too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me shrinky shrinky out of this. And then on Etsy, it is Alo's Creative Corner. And is their collab bundle. The it's $25 from Allo's Creative Corner and it's like 56 cents more expensive from Paper Test Designs. And I think that has to do with exchange rates with Paper Test. So that is where it's at. I'm gonna cut these and then we're gonna come back. Aha, uh -huh, and I'm back. So I have cut the pages. If they seem a little off or the edges seem a smidge wonky, you are not crazy. They are. I my cutter should have been able to have handled the number of pages I was cutting at once and I just did for August and it freaked out. So, all right, neither here nor there. Let me kind of get on screen. So that's the monthly, it's a list guy, I really, but I think that's kind of cute. I could see myself using this in certain sections of the planner, not necessarily everywhere. So then here is the weekly. I hope I printed enough. I don't think I did. We'll see. We'll see. So weekly, daily plan, habit tracker goes like this. Wow, the top of that couldn't be more off, could it? This is why scissors were invented. I'm just going to do a quick trim. I didn't realize how off the top was. I tried to trim it as best as possible prior. So got a daily plan. Let me just see. Yeah, yeah, that's Wampadoodle. Hold on. It's a little too, it's a little too Wampadoodle for me. I'm not a fan of Wampy Doodle looks. I like that the dailies are undated so that you can choose when you want or need dailies. So what I'm going to do, and I've done this before, is I'm just going to stick them in there after the week. So then if I need have a day that's particularly busy where I need a daily, then I have a daily. All right. Some more weeks, which is perfect because I think now I'll have enough. Let me just stack these together and again they are a little wampa doodle so we're just going to trim them down to fix the wampiness. Wampy doodle is a highly technical term on here just why why did that do that why why are you not lining up now now it doesn't want to line up the other way okay these guys are gonna stay wampy doodle <laughs> Because they, I thought I had them lined up. And I apparently did not. All right. I'm just going to trim this guy down. And I like that you can print as many or as few as you like, depending on your planning style. All right, take a month. I'm gonna line up the holes. We're just going to trim the lumpiness. And maybe this little stray here. Okay. So I do not currently have an August. I did get from Cloth and Paper their discounted monthlies. And I like their monthlies, and their monthlies do work for me. I have a feeling I'm going to be mixing monthlies for just a hot minute. Because I like this 
this makes a very nice landing page to see just the month on one page for reference. You can use it, you know, you're doing no buys, you're doing some kind of challenge. This just works out nicely. You can plan your month month here. What is missing for me is like a column for the weeks. So if I have something that's just weekly going on, I can throw it on there. I've seen others use the dates and keys for things that repeat in terms of colored stickers, stuff like that. This might work out more in a, but not necessarily more, but a little bit more cleanly in a larger size. I like this. I have a feeling I'm gonna be losing this, losing, using this. This would also work like I've seen no bias where maybe you have like an inspirational quote or goal or something. And then you use this type of a monthly tracker to, you know, like write down a daily spending total, things like that. I like that. All right. And then the back, you can use it however you like. Grocery list, if you do weekly planning, works out well too. All right. Let's get into my week. So here is my week and I'm going to switch over. I've talked about this before. The layout of this kind of bugs me because it doesn't have the full week on one side. Whereas this has, I shouldn't say the full week, the full work week on one side and the weekend over here. I like to be able to see my week actually at a glance. You do kind of lose this page when you print it because it, the week opens up this way. But what you could do is you could put like stickies or something over it and maybe use this as another tracker. Or if you have things like a routine, something you do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you could also label it here and save yourself some space potentially for putting it in the weekly. Like this might work for a cleaning schedule or something like that for the month if there's something that you do on specific days. All right, weekly overview. So this is, I'm gonna call it sort of undated because you actually have the month. It's not really undated, it's just kind of undated. So I'm just gonna start with this week. We're not gonna go back. So we got nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let me grab a highlighter here. And I'm just gonna grab the week. I feel like that tone actually goes very well with it. I don't know if I would want to, to do that, but I actually think that looks quite nice. I am using a Sarasa clip in 0 0.3. So we go to the 15. We got 17, 18, 19, 20. And I'm not gonna put that over here. We'll just we'll just do the one side. Two. And then I will print another sh another sheet to get 30 and 31 on there. Or what I'll do is I will put those in September. I think that would work better. Yeah, we'll just put those in September. And then yes, you do get this blank page here. Again, you can put a giant post-it note over it. Yeah, this is A6. You can put a post-it note over it and you can use it for something else. I am all about the repurposing of things. So I'm going to pull out my current spread here. And I've got something I'm working on. I'm working through Gabby B. Finally Full, so you see my notes here at the end. I'm just going to pop this guy in and there is this week and this is why this clear works so well I do I do appreciate 
having this page, it does bulk up a little bit what you're doing. I kind of would like to see maybe this is a separate standalone style and she may already have that. Uh, Planet Test Designs may already have this type of design or similar design already on her, her Etsy where it is just that weekly that you can put together like this and be able to use. So there is that. The timed, does this bother me? Does having this bother me? I don't think so. I think it works in theory. I'm probably at some point going to move to just one month in my planner at a time. And then we will put the dailies here at the end. I like, again, I like the layout of the dailies. I like the way this looks. I like that it's not all grid. I like that for notes that there is some color variation because let's face it, if you are color motivated, color matters because it separates things out more clearly in your brain. And then I am just going to throw these right here in my notes section. These, you know, you can use as a list. You can make the notes. I like that the circles are nice and over so that if you just want to use it as note paper, you can use it as note paper. I like the little coffee design. And then I've got my cloth and paper stuff, my printable stuff that's punched wrong, so it's offset, unfortunately. Some paper from a paper co that fit in here nicely as well. And then there, there we are. So you can deco this, you can track different things, you can have your work week schedule shifts, all that good stuff, your important priorities, which I do have, things like that. All right, so I'm I'm liking this. I'm like I'm liking where this is going. I find it really enjoyable. I find this spread really enjoyable. If you don't know uh, the cloth and paper design that I really like, I am not able to get right now for layout. So this actually works because I like this much more than what I had in here. It's a thing, it's a thing. And then the, the question becomes, what do I want to do with the tracker? Now the trackers, you could have like an entire year's worth of trackers in here. The way these print, it actually works that way. So this works more that you're gonna put it in a goal section as opposed to putting it into an actual monthly section. I'm okay with that. I like the double page design because it does give you more room. It gives you more room for your list as opposed to a single page design, which would be more like this. I'm just going to throw this in here. What I will do, let's just throw it in the back of the notes section. So if I decide to use it, I've got it in here. If I don't decide to use it, it's fine. And that is, that is it. That is my planner. Isn't she pretty? Isn't she pretty? I like that. I'm just trying to figure out. Okay. I can't help it. It's just beautiful. It's just beautiful, isn't it? All right. I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, much love.